funny. All right, we have the electromagnetism lab. We're gonna, gonna do take a look at part one. And the setup looks like this. And Mr. Lee's gonna flip the page here. And see you guys at home. So what we're gonna do is we're going to look at how the magnetic field is set up on the inside of a loop of wire. So if you look at this, this is the actual setup that we have. So we have three sets of windings of wire. This one has 10 loops of wire. The middle has 25 and then the one on the left has 100 loops of wire. And a lot of times they call it turns. So if I rotate this, you can see that it's actual loop of wire. And then we have the whole thing set up to a switch. We have a resistor to control the current so that we don't get too much current running through it. And then we have a six volt lantern battery. So that's going to be our power supply. And the way it runs in here is the, the electric current is going to run to the north. This is actually facing geographic north. And you can tell by the compass underneath there once I rotate it a little bit. So that's pointing to geographic north. And when I close the switch, what will happen is the compass is going to deflect because of the magnetic field made by the loop of wire. And if we use our left hand rule for negative current and the compass is underneath the wire, what you'll see is that it'll deflect to the right or to the east on the compass dial. The thumb is the current and the fingers are the direction that the magnetic field will point. So here we go. And just real quickly, these guys are going to be following along at home. You can see we're set up the exact same way. So you guys will be completing your chart there. Yep, and we're starting with the bottom compass, which is this one here. Cool. All right, here we go. And it deflects quite a bit because it's a pretty strong current. So the magnetic field is pretty strong too. And if you look close, it's about 60 degrees to the east. So we, we made the same thing up on the board. So it goes like that, 60 degrees. It really doesn't matter what you put for the arrow direction. Okay, so that was inside. Now we're going to do the outside. Outside of it, like that. Same thing, close the circuit and it deflects looks like it deflects about 30 degrees okay and then we'll turn it off so this is 30 degrees now we're going to go to the 10 25 turns of wire so i'm going to switch the leads from my power supply and do the same thing we're doing underneath so it's going to deflect the same direction to the east when it's inside the loop of wire. Here we go. And that goes to about, let me get it rotated just a little bit more here. Looks like it's about 75 degrees. And so you notice that when you have more turns of wire, the field is stronger when it's inside the loop. When it's outside the loop, it'll be less than when it's inside, but it'll still deflect, and it'll, it's going to deflect to the left this time. And each of those numbers are 15 degree marks, so it looks like it's about 45 degrees. So we'll go 45. Now we'll do the 100 turns. So I'm going to switch over to the 100 turns of wire. Same thing. Put it in between the loop. Get it lined up so it's directly north, close the switch, and you notice, wow, it's, it's almost 90 degrees, probably about 80, 85 degrees. So what that tells us is as you increase the current in the loop, you increase the magnetic field. Here's outside the loop. And it's still pretty strong too. So that's 15, 30, 45, almost. It looks like it's about 60, 65 degrees. So the strongest field is this one. So we're going to rate that number one. The weakest is this one. And then this is in the middle. So the field strength goes up like that. So this is the weakest. 
this is the strongest. So, Mr. Lee, if you want a really strong electromagnet, lots of turns of wire. Lots of current, lots of turns of wire. So if you complete your chart at home, it should look something like this. We'll start from the top and just kind of go down. And that's part one.